Now let's go in the back and check out what's going on to major restorations. Morning, welcome to Coffee Walk. We're here at Collins Motors today and it'll be a Jeep day. We're gonna look at three Survivor Jeeps and some restoration progress on two major CJ builds. So what constitutes a Survivor Jeep? Well, according to the peanut gallery, it's 80% or better original paint. So we've got three original paint Jeeps back here that are special all in their own right that I want you guys to see. So grab your cup of joe and let's go. The first one, we brought off the trailer a couple of months ago. When it first came off the trailer, it looked like the perfect Jeep to keep patina-wise. This Jeep has sat outside basically its entire life up in the Dakotas. It was almost 100% rust-free in original paint. But as you can see, it was sun-baked all the way down in some areas to the original metal. So we took everything off the outside of it, pre-cleaned it, scuffed it, and cleared it. This thing had no damage, no dents, no dings, and almost 100% rust free. We repaired one very small spot, which is a common area right here, and did a blend. And we painted the cow vent because this was literally all the way down to the original gel coat because these pieces are plastic. It was white. So other than that, this is an original paint Jeep and very nicely optioned. We went ahead and restored the wheels too. Craig day coated wheels with new BFGs on it. It's a factory 304. So what's really, really rare about this Jeep, I'll show you in a minute, is the transmission option that it has. But look how nice the original paint is on the bottom of the hood. Amazing. So it's a 304 power steering Jeep. Original radiator still in it. Low mileage Jeep, miles are in the 30s. Thirty-five thousand miles. Now, there's has been a kind of a long-term debate out there, but my opinion is if you knew the right people, you could order a Jeep and get it any way you wanted. A lot of guys think the only way to get the T18 four-speed, which was the 632 to one low, granny crawler transmission, absolutely killer transmission, was behind a six-cylinder. This is a factory V8 that came from the factory with a T18 in it. Really well optioned. Again, it's, it is attacking a clock. If you look at the interior, the original carpet's a really nice, beautiful blue denim dash pad. And we did take the seats and insert them because we have the proper material. Now this is Levi's blue interior, but you don't see the Levi's decal on this because in 1979, they actually didn't say Levi's on the buttons and the contract had run out for Levi's. But check it out, tell us what you think. A patinaed Survivor, totally original paint Jeep with the exception of the two minor touch-ups we did. But yes, we did clear the whole thing. So this thing is gonna survive on forever and ever, hopefully. But rust-free, very cool 79 Renegade. Next, we've got a local Scrambler 1984. Now, 1984, they only made 4,130 Scramblers. One of the rarest and most desirable options was an automatic, which were special ordered only and only built twice a year. So that's gonna put this Jeep around the 800 range, six cylinder automatic 84s built, but it's an SR package, which is Scrambler Renegade. This one was a Stripe Delete Jeep, but you can walk up and tell that it was a Renegade package right off the bat, because it does have the rocker moldings. And then it's got the high back seats in denim. You've got your gauge cluster surround panel, and this also has got a tack and a clock. And the guy also specialized it with cruise control. So 4,130 Jeeps, roughly 20% were automatics, that's 800. Roughly 20% of those were Renegades. You're talking about 160 Jeeps in a rare color of 4C ice blue with these options. It also has AC, likely a one-off Jeep. This Jeep's only got 70, this Jeep only has 75,000 miles. So what do you do with this Jeep? The paint's faded. It's all the way through. We didn't clear it but it is original paint. They're only original once, but you can either take this Jeep and go ahead and put the stripe kit on it on top of the original paint. Perhaps you just leave it like it is, or you go ahead and paint it and stripe it. Either way, it's a very rare Jeep. This is one that's gonna be available soon for sale. Mechanically, we've serviced it. It runs and drives excellent. Now, next we've got a full-size Jeep, which we don't show very often. Most of the full-size Jeeps we have in here are being serviced or restored for customers. They're not ones that we buy. If I see one that's extremely low miles or rare color or something of that nature, 
I will chase it and try to buy it. This we've chased for quite a while. I had a friend of mine told me about it. It was in the state. We finally got it. So we have got a Cherokee Chief S. The color code on this is Mocha Brown Metallic. Uh, I believe it's a 7B. Yep, 7B. Oh, and by the way, the factory color on the CJ right there is Arrowhead Silver. Really neat color. But here's what's incredible about this Jeep right here. In the VIN, you can decode what engine came in these Jeeps. Now, a lot of people think that the biggest motor in these were the 360. This has got a 401 Z code, which means it's a 401 factory four barrel Jeep. This was a likely an executive ordered and built Jeep. Incredibly rare. If you walk around and look at this, this Jeep is 100% original paint. Now, there's some things that we can do. I don't know if we're gonna do it or not, but as in these areas right here are tape, where it's missing some of the stripes, we can fix that with new stripes. But for now, it's 100% original paint, 401 Z-code four barrel, beautiful body. It's got a couple minor dents in it that will likely PDR, beautiful interior. And of course, yes, it is low miles, but we've got power steering, power brakes, AC, tilt, cruise, with 26,000 actual miles. That is a really cool find. Next, I wanna show you a 2021 JLU. Uh, what a lot of you don't know out there is on the Black Mountain conversion side, you can actually come in and sit down with one of our sales staff up front. Uh, Mr. Jonathan Peck is here and he'd be more than happy to help you. You can actually come in and spec your Jeep. We'll order it from you from the factory. But what we do is when it comes in, we sell it to you for invoice because we convert them with the Black Mountain Conversion Kit. So this is a brand new 2021. The customer specified exactly how they wanted it. We ordered it. It usually takes about three to four weeks for the Jeep to come in. It takes us about two or three days to convert it. So the color is steam gray. It's a really neat color. This is our stage two kit. So we got stage two front bumper, two and a half inch lift kit. These are all Black Mountain parts. We got what we call our Ruby Nines, which are nine inch wide wheels, which are, have the correct offset just for your JLU or your JK. We got our wide aluminum fender flares. These are actually 12 inches wide in the front and 10 inches wide in the back, covers the tires. Our three bar sidestep rock sliders. And our amazingly beautiful rear rock bumper with D-rings and D-ring isolators. Now this conversion package right here is about $10,000. So if you want a special order your Jeep the way you want it, just come to the counter, we'll punch the order. The Jeep's usually here in three or four weeks, two or three days to build it. Now let's go in the back and check out what's going on to major restorations. We've talked about this Scrambler several times. It is likely the only one in this color combination. Again, it's a 1984 ice blue metallic Jeep. But what's incredibly rare about this is a Laredo with a nutmeg and tear. As you can see where the firewall is cut in up here. And then Zach's gonna bleed in a couple of videos of the cut-ins that we did in the booth. We already have three stages of cut-ins for this Jeep. A lot of the panels are done. But this went all the way down. It's a little dusty right now because of it worked on the body, on the frame. But if you look at the frame, this frame was completely stripped of bare metal and then a very highly, nicely done powder coat. So every nut and bolt is being done on this Jeep. And this is an OE spec restoration that we're using a ton of NOS parts. Now, this is an exciting part of the process because they have been over and over this body multiple times. We literally have hundreds of hours just in this tub. When they got the black on there and they got the guide coat, we're finding out we got our highs and our lows, we're getting close to painting this thing. So hopefully we'll paint it next week. Uh, let's see what's going on in here. Here is the tub from the 1981 H code CJ5 Renegade. One of the rarest CJ5s in the world. I only know of one other factory V8 81H code right now. Uh, we stripped this to bare metal. We put black epoxy primer on it. It was original paint Jeep. Looked great. We started with it, but once we stripped it, even though it looked to be rust free, it had some rust in it. We went ahead and put a driver's floor in it. We've got the inner structure over there for the shut plate we had to replace. And we did do a patch right here. So, but where the shut plate is, we did all the factory spot wheels where it came from the factory. These will be ground down. You won't be able to see them. The ones that you should see, you'll be able to lightly see. But we actually cut the pieces out of an NOS. 
corner panel. I know y'all are cringy, but we no reason to put the whole corner on it, but we did use NOS parts in here. So this build's coming along nicely. Uh, the frame and chassis are already, I think, built. Here's hoods that are stripped for both of those Jeeps. Uh, we got a couple of pieces hanging around in the ice blue Jeep, but again, Zach's gonna bleed in some of the cut-ins. Here's the grill. Here's the windshield frame, and as you know from watching the videos in the past, the windshield frames are painted off the Jeep. And I think the motor is in the transmission room for the H-code. Let's look at that. Here's the doors for the ice blue. The motor is built for the, for the 84 ice blue Jeep. It's highly detailed, just like it left the factory. I don't know where it is, but it's done. There we go. Good morning, Juice. Good morning. So there's the 304 for the 81 H code. So there you have it. Some cool stuff in the shop. We always have neat stuff in here going on. It's, it's great to walk in and see these rare Jeeps. Again, we're you know, constantly saving them. If you do come by Collins Motors, we'll give you a tour. We'll let you come back and see them. Please like, tag, share, and follow. Have a great day.